football, not a bad way to spend a Saturday. Great day, a great day. I mean, beautiful day. It was uh, nice and sunny. We had Maryland coming out victorious. Uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, Virginia coming out victorious, and I gave them a six win. Uh, out here, Navy's has a great first half, 35 nine. John Pollock. They have to win out, though. Roger Stone. But uh, that would be great if that would happen. You must, have brought, you must have brought some good karma with you for Navy. Obviously, we know that some of the concerns we've had movies, coming into this game. Red October, this looks like the Navy team we've seen play the last the four five years. The yeah, they, well, you know, they lost four games by two late points last week. Proctor was hurt, not the one person who made that big difference. But Navy's a good team. I'm not giving up on it. I mean, they've got three games left, and they can win all three. You know, we'll have to see how it goes. Obviously, um... The connotation of the military bowl itself. I, I, I don't. I can't think of any other bowl game in the country that has more of a meaning to any football fan in the country than that. And, and subtly, maybe not so subtly, you guys have had a pretty impressive impact in the short time that you've been around. Here, huh? Yeah, it's really been great. Uh, I'll tell you, last October we renamed the game the Military Bowl. It gives us an identity and a uh, purpose. Uh, purpose being to raise funds for the USL. Very passionate about that, and that's really why we're in business. And, uh, you know, to pay tribute to the five men and women that protect our great country and, uh, and raise money for the USO to help them with their causes. Yeah, obviously, you know, we can talk all we want about the bowl situation around the country, but when fans hear about where this money's going to, and we've talked to some of them, there is an instant, oh, an instant, oh yeah, boy, I, I gotta, I gotta check that out, or I have to maybe get involved with that. Some way. How satisfying is that to hear? Well, it, it's it's really great, and again, uh, that, that's why we're here. Th this game really is all about the U.S. So we can do for that, and also uh, what kind of substantial economic effect we can have on the city of Washington City. So those two things really together is why we're in existence, and uh, why we push so hard to make it successful. Leads perfectly into my next question. I know already last year I went 16, 18, 20 million. I guess I I read in terms of the financial impact. Another part of the Yeah, and last year was 18 million. We had over 4,000 hotel nights uh, in the city of DC, uh, which, by the way, is a fantastic place to, uh, to, to come to. We have you know, ice skating, we've got shopping, you know, we've got uh, monuments, of course, and all that stuff. Uh, it's just a great place to go. As a matter of fact, we're, uh, there's a lot of people talking around the country about what a great spot DC is for a bowl game because there is so much to do and so much to do for an inexpensive price. And there's nothing else in the bowl structure in this region prior to this game coming in here. That's right, nice. we're the only bowl in the Mid-Atlantic region. And, uh, you know, it really gives us some opportunities. And, you know, having the military academies involved this year with Navy, next year with Army, uh, it just gives us that kind of push. Yeah, talk about the relationship you have with the Chet and everybody down here. We, we work with them a lot. We broadcast the Navy football games, a lot of other things with them. Uh, I can't think of too many more classier organizations in terms of what they try to project regionally and nationally than U.S. Naval guys. Yeah, they're really uh, class owners. We love dealing with them. They've been extremely helpful to me learning this business over the last three years. You know, the first year when I came in, it was October when I came in. The game was December 20th, the first game at 11 o'clock yeah. in the morning. You know, I didn't know what the heck Welcome I was Welcome to doing. the bowl season. Right, I didn't know what I was doing. So they came in and uh, their whole staff was extremely helpful. Last question. The ACC presence. Obviously, Virginia gets in the game. Maryland was in the game a couple years ago. What? Whatever the ACC presence is, in this area, it's you. Basketball, football, lacrosse, whatever it is. You, hey, you grew up in the ACC country. You know the relevance of having an ACC school with the program, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very big for us. You know, the ACC is on our uh, contract all four of uh, our years in this cycle, 10 through 13. And they're a, a, another tremendous partner to have. Their institutions, you know, uh, are... I don't want to say a class above everybody else, but I'll tell you, it's a, it's it's really a great group of schools and great people. Oh, well, when you look at Maryland, Duke, Wake, I mean, you're talking about some of the greatest schools in the country. I mean, you throw Army or Navy into the mix. You've got to, I guess, I guess this day and age when there's maybe so much, I don't want to say pessimism, but from the average fan in regards to what the purpose of college sports is when you look at Navy, when you look at Maryland, Duke, academically, Virginia, you're talking about the best of the best, huh? really some top notch top schools. And now with the ACC adding Syracuse and Penn, two other fantastic yeah. schools, I mean, it's uh, really a top notch. Last question. Uh, 
convention three years you took over. <laughs> what, what what have you seen uh, in your travels in regards to the bowl structure in our country? And again, it gets a lot of attention. Some good, some not so good. What have you seen? Oh, boy, I don't know how tough to answer question. that one. That tough is question. a tough one. I've, I've seen a lot. I mean, over the past few years, and just learning this whole business and you know all this stuff that's come out about some of these other bowls. I mean, I'm not privy to that. I don't. I don't have those kind of budgets to be able to worry about that kind of stuff. But um, but I can tell you from our perspective, what we do is a good thing. And we do bring dollars into our community, and we give away our money to charity. And that's really all we're about. We give 100000 off the top directly to USO, and then they, uh, uh, they also get a big uh, percentage of any profits that we may make. So uh, that's, that's we're a very well-grounded bowl in that regard, and, and that's what we're really about. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.